This video is sponsored by Squarespace, helping you build your own beautiful website. So you already know what this video is about, no need for an intro, let's get into it. The absolute, absolute cheapest day that you could have in Tokyo would have to be a combination of couch surfing, walking everywhere instead of catching public transport, and fasting the whole day. However, <laughs> there's only so long that you could do that without um, dying, I guess. So this is the next best option for you. So the biggest expense that you're gonna find when you're traveling is accommodation, obviously. Especially in Tokyo, accommodation can be quite expensive. I looked on Agoda, booking.com, and on Airbnb, and I found the cheapest accommodation across all three of them in Tokyo. The cheapest one that I found was called Kameido Residence or something like that, and it was 880 yen a night, plus tax and everything. It was about 1,050 yen per night. So, <laughs> I probably wouldn't recommend it to I mean, I don't want to put this guy on blast, but it was, uh, it was the cheapest. It was, you know what I mean? It was the cheapest accommodation in Tokyo. <laughs> the room was absolutely nothing like the pictures online. Okay, quick side note. So I'm just looking at the reviews for this place on Agoda and <laughs> it seems like nearly everyone had the exact same experience as me. So moral of the story, kids. Check the reviews first. Okay, back to the video. Honestly, the whole area that I was walking around in, it didn't feel like crazy unsafe, but I'm not gonna lie, walking around there at midnight, which is when I arrived in, yeah, it definitely didn't feel all that comfortable. This is a dodgy looking street, yo. And then being in this man's house, and he slept in one of the beds as well, on the bug bed, and, and it was, uh, I just, I mean, I give it like a 1 out of 10. It would be 0 out of 10, but the bed was actually quite comfortable. But it's only a 1 because it smelled like dude, so... Yeah. So the next big expense that you'll come across while traveling Tokyo, traveling anywhere really, will be the food. Personally for me, I don't actually eat breakfast. I think it's a great idea because I mean it's like intermittent fasting so all those benefits as well as the fact you're saving money, you're saving calories and you're also saving a lot of time because Japan doesn't do breakfast. They don't have like cafe culture like we do back in Australia or in the States or anything like that so finding a place for breakfast can actually be kind of difficult so that's why I recommend skip it but if you do want to have some breakfast by all means go to a convenience store you can get a piece of bread for 100 yen you can get a rice ball for 100 yen but for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna say skip breakfast and get a coffee instead <laughs> So if you know anything about Japanese convenience stores, you'd know that the coffee there actually isn't all that bad. I mean, I'm Australian, therefore I'm a coffee connoisseur by nature. No, but I mean, I actually quite like the coffee from convenience stores. This is from 7-Eleven, just a regular iced coffee, and this was 100 yen, including tax, which is not bad. And it does usually come with a lid and a straw, but I'm trying to be eco-friendly, so. <laughs> Save the turtles, am I right? Look, it's a turtle! <laughs> so when it comes to getting something to drink in Japan, obviously you can buy these... Well, they started playing music right now. Excellent. Uh, so you can obviously buy drinks from any convenience store in Japan, but we all know that's a lot of plastic. Also for this video we're trying to be super cheap, so... Bring your reusable water bottle to Japan. I usually will take this to like a cafe, a restaurant, even a convenience store. The full sentence that you should say in Japanese is called... Mizu o irete morate mo ii desu ka? But of course that's a really difficult sentence for you to remember, so you could just say Mizu o irete ii desu ka? Or even shorter, you could just point to the bottle and go Mizu o ii desu ka? And, and hand them the bottle. Obviously that's not the correct way to ask, but I mean, let's be honest, when you're on your 20th video about Japan on YouTube, it's hard to remember these things. But yeah, an excellent way to save money and the environment. Look at me, I'm such an activist. <laughs> sightseeing in Japan actually is incredibly easy to do this 
for free, pretty much. I've actually already made an entire video called 10 free things to do in Tokyo for in 10 minutes or something like that. So I'll link that there if you want to go watch it. Another thing that I didn't mention on that list is where I am right now, which is called Kame Ido Tenjin. So this is a place that was actually really close to the accommodation, which was lucky. And it's such a beautiful little temple, pondy area. Just, just a beautiful underrated spot. So I can highly recommend this place as well. The next big expense you'll find while traveling Tokyo is the transportation. Taxis are ridiculously expensive, but luckily trains are really good and they're quite cheap here. So I'm going to head to one of my favorite areas in Tokyo called Shimokitazawa. And it's just a really cool area for thrift shopping. It's got a great vibe. There's lots of cool restaurants. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna be heading there now. I've got to catch two trains. It will cost me approximately 370 yen to get there. Yeah, let's go. Ma, mama. Mama. instead of just going to a convenience store to get lunch all the time is coming to a grocery store. Prices are actually a little bit cheaper at grocery stores and they've got a lot more options and it's actually kind of a really good way to try some more local food but at a crazy cheap price. So I've settled on some Inari Zushi and some other little roll with the vegetables in the center. I was also gonna get mochi but then I was like that's a lot of carbs I don't need that much. Getting this one for now and then off to explore Shimokitazawa. If you're gonna go eat out for any meals of the day in Japan, lunchtime is the time to do it because there's often crazy, crazy, crazy good deals at lunchtime comparing to dinner time. So you can definitely get a very nice, very big as well lunch for under a thousand yen. I reckon the lunch that I had was probably a bit too small because I'm starting to get really hungry. I also bought a really, really, really beautiful dress from one of the secondhand stores here. I'm obviously not gonna put that in the list of like the price list because not everyone is gonna be buying beautiful dresses. But if you like doing secondhand hand shopping and use clothing stores and that kind of thing, you will love Shimokitazawa. So I was starting to get a little hungry so I got edamame. These are already like cooked and salted and everything and they're delicious and it was 118 yen. Fun fact, you get two yen off if you've got your own reusable bag, which is nice, so saving money. The absolute cheapest. We're going by, by the yen for this video. <laughs> I just checked into like the coolest capsule hotel I think I've ever seen. I mean, the actual capsule itself is pretty standard, but outside it's amazing. It's basically like the whole thing is like a library. There's like hundreds of books you can choose from and like the chandelier is made from books. Although for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna include the price of it in the list because I'm only making like a one day in Tokyo, like the cheapest one day you could have in Tokyo. But tonight, this place, it's costing four thousand yen and like comes with all the amenities and all that kind of thing as well so what's happening to my voice but anyway it is still a budget option for people that are staying in tokyo yeah time for some dinner <laughs> Okay, so I've come to, it's called a natural Lawson. Pretty much exactly the same as a regular Lawson, except for it's more natural. It's usually a little bit more expensive than normal, but the reason I'm here is because it's one of the few places that you can buy these. If you've ever been to Tokyo Station, you may have noticed the vegan ramen restaurant shop that they've got there. They've got a, a takeaway version like this. I'm gonna get this and a small salad because I have not had any vegetables today and I feel like a round bowl of mochi. And then, uh, yeah. Head back. Damage this pocket. 
The bacon is so unnecessary in the salad. Are you joking? Are you actually joking me? <sighs> I am so tired. Honestly, I feel like I'm really tired just because I wasn't able to sleep properly because I was scared for my life a little bit. Yeah, the moral of the story is <laughs> you can do Tokyo really, really, really cheaply if you want to. The total price of everything that I bought today, I haven't figured it out just yet, but I'll put that price right here. Yes, that is the absolute cheapest that I could do today. Any less than that and I I would probably just be fasting for the whole day and um, basically homeless. It's not like, you, know, you can, you too can do this because I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. In terms of food, I feel like you completely miss out on experiencing so much more incredible food that there is in Japan. Maybe instead of $30 a day, if you spend like $60 a day or something like that, even including accommodation, you can really experience so much more of Japan's culture and Japanese food and everything like that. I would highly recommend take advantage of lunchtime deals. The prices are like cut in half. And then at dinner time, I would recommend going to somewhere like an izakaya or if you're in Japan for a while, convenience stores or grocery store is a really, really economical option. Moral of the story is, would not recommend this to anyone else, but it was quite the experience. Let me know if you like it and like it with the thumbs up and also subscribe and apparently you're supposed to like hit a bell or something and then um, comment something. I don't know. I don't like doing this like YouTuber spiel at the end. It seems really like fabricated. Anywho, I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna make my food and then I'm gonna read a book and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. And once again, looks like I'm not wearing any pants. Excellent. Oh. Guys, we've had a lot of fun here today. But it's time to talk about this video sponsor. Nailed it. Squarespace is of course everybody's favorite all-in-one platform to help you build your own website in a beautiful and professional way. They've got a number of different beautiful templates on their website. You can just pick one, change the details, and you're done. I did my website in like an hour ish and I really love the look of it. If you're interested in travel, which is probably why you're watching this channel, then they've got a whole bunch of special features just for you. So say you've got a blog, for example, they've got a whole bunch of tools that let you manage your blog on the go. You can schedule posts and things like that. You've also got an analytics page so you can see how people are clicking on your website, where you're being discovered and all of that kind of stuff. What is this? I legitimately love Squarespace. I think it's really helped me present myself online in a very professional way, more so than these videos ever have. So if you're interested head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash currently hannah for 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or a website thank you squarespace for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching i'm actually going to end the video here okay bye <laughs>